Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Stormworks. Because I feel like I'm not done with Stormworks just yet. No, 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 not at all. Because in Stormworks last time, I think we built a really interesting car boat copter that worked as a car, aside from the steering being wrong, and worked as a boat, aside from being like you know slightly slow. But it didn't really work as a flyer. I did say I wanted it to work as a flyer. And I feel like it didn't. So today, I'm going to rectify that. But not with a helicopter. Not some boring, boring helicopter. No. I have a much better idea. Because I can't help but notice that in the creative mode, next to your base, they give you this. Now, this here looks distinctly to me like a runway. Now, that suggests to me it's presumably possible to build an aeroplane. I don't know how, and I don't really know how aeroplanes work, but we're going to figure it out together. So here's the thing about an aeroplane, and I have seriously, genuinely gone and read up a couple of beginner's guides, probably meant for small children, about how aeroplanes work. And as I understand it, there are basically four forces that work on aeroplanes that define whether the aeroplane is successfully aeroplaning or not. Those forces are up, down, backwards, and forwards, or as some people seem to sometimes call them for some reason, um, lift, gravity, thrust, and the other one, backwards. I can't remember what that one's called. But basically, there's those four forces. Now, my initial assumption would have been I needed something to provide lift, but then that's not a plane, that's a helicopter. And as we've previously established, helicopters are incredibly boring. But no, planes apparently don't really work like that. Planes instead, what you need is plenty of forward. And then if you just like make the wings correct, then the amount of forward, like the wind will get under the wings in the right way, and that'll provide the lift. So what I really need is, I just need to build a thing that's got wings and goes fast. And we can just reiterate from there. So here's my starting point here. What I've done is I've just built a flat thing with some wings. Now that's fine, but this is far more clever than you originally think. See, what I've done here is I've set up some wheels, and by the way, I've actually made sure to set the wheels, so this time I don't have the turning bug I had last time. I've actually set them up correctly, because I remember to turn off symmetry before I actually set them up, because symmetry kind of screws you up when you set the wheels up. Otherwise, yeah, the controls also get mirrored, and that causes problems. But what I've done is I've set up this plane, so when it's actually on the ground, the plane will actually be bent slightly backwards. So the wings won't actually be, like, straight up horizontal. They'll be like this. Now, as I understand it, this is probably a gross oversimplification of how aeroplanes work, planes need to go fast. When planes go fast, if wing is at, like, say, this angle here, then wind gets under wing and is pushed down. This push plane up and as a result, plane go up. Again, gross oversimplification, but I feel like if this is the starting position of the wheels, and I just make this thing go fast enough, logically, that is how that goes, I think. I mean, that's my starting point. We'll start there and we'll work from there. Okay. I think I'm done with iteration one here. So, it's a pretty simple thing so far. All it does is, button one activates engine. Engine can be basically turned up or down with W and S. No power goes to the wheels underneath. All I need them for is steering, which is handled by A and D. D, I, I think. Hang on, just double check those. Are. Yeah, that is indeed on A and D. Power is fed through to the engines. Motion forward will be handled by those engines. Then if we just basically throttle up to full, then in theory, because of the angle of the plane, we should take off. It's a pretty big should, but in theory it should work. Okay, so here it, it needs steps again. I always forget it needs bloody steps. Okay, that is better. Ooh, okay. Small problem there. Also, apparently there's a zoom in function. I didn't know about that. Small problem here is possibly the angle's not really steep enough. Like in theory, I possibly should take a block out of here to make it be more up. You can see here, like if I can just get enough speed up, the wind's going to go under the wings and that's... I say this like it actually, you know, is going to happen. It might do, it might not. Right. Pilot seat... Activate engine. 
Okay, now that gets that going along here. Now, right now, it should be at its... Oh, uh, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, wait, I can make the thing go backwards? By, by reversing the... Oh, okay, apparently it does go backwards. Okay, now, just slow it down till it's at very, very slow speed. And if I'm right, then... Okay, hang on. Hang on, I've got... Okay, the... Wait, hang on, just, just spin the camera around here. Let's look, look, look at the wheels. Uh, okay. So, the wheels are... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there's a beginning of an aeroplane going on here. This could work, but I, I do see how it still needs a small amount of work. Yes. In particular, I have once again reversed the bloody wheels. But I'm gonna fix that this time. There we go. Controls go into inverter. Inverter feeds down to tyres. Now this, this should work. Seat. Engines go into third person camera and now slightly increase. Okay, so D makes us indeed go right, A makes us go left. Okay, now what I want to do now is just slightly increase speed and get ourselves lined up for a run at that runway because sometimes the best way to learn is just to also. Mm, I feel like I'm kind of riding a bicycle here. Like, I feel like maybe I should have additional, like, backup wings on the... Why are we not moving anymore? Move! That's right. Slow it down here. Slow it down. Just... Just... Wait, hang on. Why would the... Why would it... Does it default to zero when I'm not pushing W? Because that doesn't feel like how a plane should work at all. Yeah, it's a little bit unsteady. But actually, the landing thing I've built might actually help with that. So... Line it up, line it up, line it up. Okay, now, now put it into, yeah, put it into reverse. Put it into reverse, which doesn't make much sense, given it's literally only powered by propellers that don't seem to stop and whatever. Okay, bring her back, bring her back. So just make sure there's nothing behind me like the sea, which there clearly is. Okay, so I just want to give myself the biggest possible run up here. Because we've got a runway in front of us. Is that like, yeah, that, that, that's in front of us enough. Okay, now if this works first time, I am a genius, so whack it up, 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 whack, whack, whack it up, what? Okay, why is it going down rather than up? And why is it now spinning forever? Wait, I think I might know why this is actually. Yes, I think I do. Now the problem is this little purple blob here. Because I think this little purple blob represents, hang on, the centre of mass. Now, the problem with my plane is the centre of mass is at the front. Because all the wings are here, and they shouldn't be here. They should be so that this little guy is in, like, the middle. Or at least, does it need to be in the middle, or does it need to be... Hmm. Not sure. Well, as that's mass... In theory, what if I was just to put a whole bunch of ballast on the back of the plane to weigh it down? Because this will presumably make the... Okay, how much... Okay, possibly the engines are really heavy. Is that... That's making that move, right? I think that is making that... Are you even moving? Are we... This doesn't feel right. I think that's moved slightly. I think I just need a lot of ballast on this plane. Okay, center of mass clearly does not mean what I think it means. You see, looking at the plane as it spawned, it would appear that the center of mass is not at the front of the plane anymore. That distinctly looks like that's not the case. Yes, in many ways, this is actually worse than the first design. Okay, so, new design, wings now significantly further backwards, plane also at more of a favorable angle for takeoff. Now, this should in theory, work better at taking off rather than immediately crashing. I'm not going to guarantee that, so I'm not really sure, but it feels like it should do to me also. Oh, okay, careful, 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 careful. It's a little bit on the unstable side. I really should put an actual lever for controlling the plane, by the way, because then it would stay up once I... Has it just fallen over? No, no, it's fine. It's back on its, it's, back on its wheels, but... Okay, I think I actually... Okay. I think it could do with some stabilizers out on the wings, yes. 
Okay, so now we've got stabilizers out on the wing, so now our plane can- Oh, 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 calm down. Calm down. Okay, this thing's ready to fly. This thing is, okay, this thing is possibly slightly too ready to fly, in fact. Right, let's just bring her around. We need to give her a good, good little kind of run up here at the, uh, at the kind of the, the runway. So bring her around, bring her around, bring her around, which we now can do. Because we've actually got ourselves also a uh, propeller. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Chill, chill out. No. Okay. So we may have got a little bit overexcited there. Okay, I've slapped in a second engine. The reason for that is now what's going to happen is when we're just taxiing out, we're going to do that just with wheels. Not with propellers, because that way madness seems to lie. We'll only activate the propellers later. This means the propellers are now controlled by this throttle next to the pilot seat, so I can put it up to max and keep it at max, rather than it constantly seeming to be wanting to slip back down to the numerical value of zero, because I think that's what happens when it's on W and S, which doesn't help very much, whereas that would be good for taxiing. So, here we are on the plane, which is slightly rocking backwards and forwards, but that's fine. So, what we need to do first is, this engine, this engine should not activate the actual, um, rotors. Instead, we should just be able to... Wait, what? What? Hang on, what? What's... What? Why is that happening? Why... Now, what have I... What have you just done? What... What is... Something's gone very wrong with these wheels. Is it that they're being pressed into the... Hang on. What's... What's wrong here? Why can you not go forwards or backwards? And I'm trying to go back... Okay, I think we've done some bad wiring here. Ah, yes. It's because one wheel is trying to go backwards at the same time as one is trying to go forwards. Which is... Weird. Why would that be? Well, it's because I put them on so that the steering would actually work. Okay. So what I actually need to do is I need to change the wheels so the steering doesn't work and then put the inverter into only a single one of the two. Which, this one already works. So, okay. Okay, this is fine. This is okay. Because if I just now erase this wheel, and remember that solid clockwise that side is good. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of, of this bit. So now the wheels turn the same way, but get a bit confused when it comes to turning. Because you can't have both for some baffling reason. Um, so, what I need to do now is, when I remember this, so... Uh, the logic, yeah, so, you, yeah, the inverter one goes down over to, to, over here, however, direct control goes to this, so, with this wheel being inverted and this one not, that should now work, and in addition, this engine is, that's the, oh, that's the brakes, I don't need brakes, <laughs> We don't need brakes. Um, which is the engine that's powering? This is the engine that should be powering these wheels. I could also have just gone over to one wheel drive, but I feel like this should this should now work, right? Okay, we got around that small problem. So around around here, right? Oh, okay. Got overexcited by the plane there and slightly overshot. Let's just teleport into the. Did I just push the plane off? Okay, I have superhuman strength. I shouldn't need a plane, right? So. This engine on, propellers not on, and now, forward, backward, now, if it turns left now, I've done it. Oh my goodness, I've actually wired it correctly. Okay, so now, with a nice controlled taxi to the runway, we can actually do the first flight proper, now that this plane actually taxis properly, has good, like, wheel, no, not wheels, uh, wings, the other thing, um, has good wing angles, so we just taxi over towards the runway here, uh, let's give ourselves a nice good run up here, yeah, there we go, and if need be, uh, just, yeah, now we can just back off a little bit, lovely, just make sure we don't, like, hit the sea, and then, in a minute, we can activate, 
engine number, or rather engine number, like all of them. Uh, so, next up. So these, yeah, so now the propellers come online. The propellers currently are at their lowest level of thrust. If I hit this throttle lever up to max, then at that point, okay, let's, let's start with half. Let's start with, shut up, I'm not delivering a fuel barrel. Let's, no, I said half, I said half. So now the plane vaguely tries to, uh oh, no, 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 redirect, 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 redirect. It wants to take off. It wants to take off, then it wants to be upside down, then it wants to be in the sea. Okay, that's not bad as a starting point. Okay, kill engine number one, activate engine number two. Propellers come online. This time, I'm going to whack it up to full power, and we're just going to see what happens as a result of that. So, full power, and now the plane still goes down rather than up. Which, and now is actually in a loop. Now, I think I do actually have a solution to this. Okay, the thing that we've got to do, because right now the plane's just spinning, is we've got to make the air go into the plane and then down. So, in theory, if I put, like, on the tips of the wings, this shape the pyramid going down, wind will be forced down. But I think we can do potentially something a lot more interesting than that as well. Well, one, we can obviously we can put a, uh, a second tier of that right flipping here, which would be absolutely marvellous. See, what I've gone and done here is I've added flaps onto the aeroplane because that's a thing aeroplanes have. So what I can do now is I can lower the flaps into a position where they're going to be at this angle. So between this and the flaps, there's going to be loads of air that's coming through the plane that really, really wants to, like, push the plane up, I think. So let's just check this out here. So into the pilot seat, there's the flaps there. So the flaps are currently... Oh, I think I've kind of wired them in a bit backwards. But if I do this, then the flaps... Aha! So if I put the flaps to, yeah, there we go. Flaps into like that position there, maybe just a little bit more. So if they're, that is, that's fully away. And this is, hang on, I need to just put it a little bit more like that. Some like maybe a bit more like that. There we go, like that. Okay. So now there's going to be lots of lift pushing up the plane, aside from the fact that, yeah, also... Apparently there's just water underneath here. Um, yeah, aside from the small fact that what I probably should have done is put this higher up so there's not, because right now there's... Actually, like, from the air's perspective, the air can probably get out through here much more easily. But I am going to give it a go now that I'm already, like, you know, in the pilot seat and everything. So we can put everything up immediately. Let's just take the plane out onto the old runway and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I've got a good feeling about this one. I've got a really good feeling about this. Let's not go straight to full power. Let's go up to like two-thirds power. And then we'll see what goes on here. Oh. Okay, this is looking better already. That's looking better. Okay. It's slightly flipped over. The, the point where this goes wrong is where it flips over. But that was better. Also, I think I just killed a swordfish. Okay, I decided to go back to the drawing board, because I felt like we had a couple of flaws in the original design. The new design is a little bit more modest, but in some ways looks immediately more like an aeroplane. So, I'm going to see what goes on here, because also, I feel like the centre of, like, mass button is just broken. Because it does just seem to basically just be wherever the middle starting point of your design is and not actually change when you add or take away mass, which may just be me misunderstanding what mass is. But I literally just went away, and I checked, like, um, where the centre of mass, or is it gravity? Are those the same thing? I don't know. Where the centre of something is supposed to be on an aeroplane. And the diagram I saw said pretty much where the wings are. So that's what I've gone and done. I've gone and put the centre of something where the wings are, which I think therefore should be better. Also, I'm using an actual aircraft engine, which is three times more powerful, which feels like that's kind of important, yes. So, nice plane, looks quite a lot like a plane, possibly doesn't have enough wing 
From this angle, it looks distinct like there's not quite enough wing. So, now we just gently throttle... Oh, dear. Yeah, that, that's, that's a lot more power. That's a lot more power than we had before. Yeah, okay. I see the advantage. Or rather, disadvantage, potentially, of the aircraft engine. Okay, well... While we're already here out on the runway, let's just quickly wag that up and we'll see what... Okay. So... That is significantly more successful immediately. Which is that, that looked like flight for a minute there. Now, the problem is, the problem is, well, one, okay, well, one, I've done it, you're welcome. Um, two, so the plane is constantly going, it wants to pull up. So the plane's pulling up. And then never stops. And I did want it to pull up, because that's how I take off. So, stage one has been successful, yet I'm... Oh, 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 I hit an invisible wall. I've possibly hit an invisible wall there. Stage one is successful. How do I control it once it's using the flaps? Oh my goodness, I might be onto something here. <laughs> awesome. This is me on the map right now. I think there's just... Somewhere there's just an air traffic controller whacking his head against a desk. <laughs> now the problem might also be the wings are too low. Because I'm constantly trying to push the wind... Would that be true? Would that make... Does that make sense? I mean, how, would I, how do I control this? How do I control... How to make the... Well, real aircrafts have flaps. So if I do actually put on a couple of flaps, logically that would work. And we've already got the flying part down. We just need to be a little bit more on the controlled side. So, possibly slightly large flaps here. Sure, but... Okay. In theory, what's the shape we put on the front of the flaps to make them work? Because if I have them... Like at this angle during takeoff, but oh, but this way they physically can't go up, which is which is not good. Wait, can they? Hang on, I'm not I'm not 100. Hang on, let's just quickly wire them in and just check what their range of movement is, because uh, I do need to check that. So this one is is this this isn't utilised yet. Fine. So just whack the handle on the left over to the flaps. Quickly spawn that in. Let's just very quickly check what the flaps can and cannot do. So default flat position and as extreme as like that, and then they go down to right. So these flaps can only go at that angle. So that's that's not useful to me. Because what I need them to do is I need them to be able to be I need them to be able to be at that angle, but also at this angle when we need to stabilize once we've in fact, actually, maybe that's that's more important. Maybe it's that I have them the other way round, so that they can... Okay, hang on, I need to have a think about this. Okay, so, new design. These flaps are now designed to actually, once we are airborne, they can actually be, yeah, at that point, raised. Now, that will mean there is going to be downward thrust. No, wait, downward... Because these, the wings are like this to create lift. This will create downward lift. I don't know what that's called, but downward lift. And that, therefore, will balance and stop the plane spinning. So if I get up in the air and I'm stuck... I should not stand on the wings. If that happens anyway, I can slowly, slowly deploy these things. Because the default position is, yeah, the default position is flat. Where it won't do anything. I can just ever so slightly, once I get up in the air and I get stuck into a spin... I can just very, very gently pull this throttle lever to try and pull my way out of the spin, I think, possibly. I'm not 100% sure, but that might be the case. Still, let's just give ourselves a little bit of pattern, not too much. Bloody hell, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of power in this here aircraft engine. There's tiniest, tiniest bit. Tiniest bit, alright? Tiniest bit. The steering also works correctly as well. I've officially nailed the steering, but I haven't actually put... Oh, don't see below the floor. I haven't actually put uh, the stabilizer wheels over on the wings yet anyway. But I feel like actually... 
We got something here, right? So just turn her around, turn her around, turn her around. Nice flipping long run up here. All right, let's not go nuts. We do not need full power. I've I've significantly over. Oh no, no, don't don't crash. Okay, bring her around towards the runway. Make sure she's lovely and straight. There we go. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. I want to say that'll do it. We can't quite get. Can't quite get. Okay. Right. Throttle up. Like to half. And then. The moment that's true. At that point. That seems to have made the problem in some ways. Worse rather than better. Why isn't that. Hmm. Why hasn't that helped? Right. Let's just, just try different positions here. That's, okay, that's, I thought that had helped, then I just realised we'd crashed. I'm increasingly growing to believe, over the course of several test flights, the flaps plan, <laughs> the flaps plan is simply not working. The flaps are not contributing a huge amount to this endeavor. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I think this is <laughs> I think this is the aeroplane equivalent of the tail wagging the dog. Okay, couple of improvements. I've added the stabilizing wheels on and I've plugged these wheels back in. Uh but oh hang on. Didn't I forget to this time I think the wheels are I think on this occasion I haven't actually done the wheels because the wheels had problems last time, didn't they? Yes. Yes, the wheels are doing that thing again that didn't work well previously. Okay, so may maybe we don't worry about that too much. Okay, fine. I, I had been hoping that we could just kind of, you know, use a little bit of just a tiny, tiniest bit of power. Tiniest bit of... Tiny bit more than that. Okay, but with the stabilizing wings, it's going to be a lot easier for us to actually... Why is the steering not working anymore? Oh, I've really done a number on the wheels, I think. Oh, I've completely messed up the wheel system. Okay, I think I might have actually just made a bit of progress here. So, this here is plane one, the original plane. I've gone back to this design because, in all fairness, plane two, after initially looking promising, did just generally go into death spins. So, this seemed better. Um, so, what I've done is I've hooked the, um, the actual... Hang on, what is it called? Flaps! The flaps I built, and also I'm stuck in my own plane, I hooked the flaps into a tilt sensor. So rather than me trying to manually adjust them, instead, they would respond to the tilt of the plane. So if the plane starts tilting, then they tilt, I think, in the opposite direction. I'm not sure. They, they tilt anyway, and the result so far have been fairly promising. So if we just actually whack up a bit of stuff here, the plane gently takes off, and then... Actually, it flies, and we just clear the mountains. Now the problem is, at that point, we end up in a journey out to the orbit. However, apparently at this precise angle, these things actually sort of help. Now what I think I need to do is I also need to add in an overwrite ability so that I can control because, or possibly, we are going into space by the way, we're just going into space, this is now a space program. I've built a plane by the way, it cocking works, screw you all. Um, I need to actually find a way to, to overwrite it and also I need to figure out how to turn because that right now is a mystery to me, how we turn. Um, I did have some ideas about that, but they're probably not, yeah, I think we are actually, we're just going to space. So, where are we on the map right now? We are just, okay, we are just, yeah, going probably a bit more up than we're, also, are we turning? I think we're also turning. Are we supposed to, maybe we should take this, okay, this has been excellent progress right here. So, what I've just added on here, is a second set of flaps. 
So these flaps are automated. These flaps I can manually control. So the plane will basically manage to get itself into a good flight position. But then I can, hang on, with these, this, um, this throttle here, I can then put up additional flaps up or down. So if I need to, I can put these flaps up. I don't know whether that helps or if that's good or not, but if I have a series of flaps, I feel like that's the beginning to me having actual, like, control over this here plane. Whack up the power. Actually, do I even need max power? Max power might be overkill. So just, just, just take off. Take, okay. I think max power is, oh. Yeah. Max power was not as good. Or, possibly, I should have actually gone onto the runway and not launched it to Mountain. Okay, what I've also done is I have actually put the additional flaps onto... Oh, okay, yeah, I've put them onto plus and minus. So I can control them while watching the plane in third person. So as a result, thanks to the automated flaps that are mysteriously helping... I, I don't even know how exactly, but they are... They are helping, thanks to the automated flaps that are going to keep me going up, I can then start experimenting whether I can use the manual flaps to have some level of control. Because we have now mastered flight, we are now, you know, basically gods of the sky. However, what I do need to do is, about two thirds power seems to do it. Two thirds power seems to be fine, so let's just basically get off the ground here, and then, oh, 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 oh. It was going fine. This was... This was going better before I added... Why would it go sideways? What would be the benefit of going... When I say benefit, why would it go sideways? Okay. I might be able to get myself out of this shed. Just completely max out power. And then... Wait, what? Why is it turning to the left? The thing's symmetrical. It's literally been built with symmetry put on it. There's no reason it should be turning to the left. Okay, this time we've just taken off straight out of the hangar and that's gone better. So, let's see. I'm going up right now. That makes me go more up, which means I cannot stabilise. Because what I need to do ultimately, unless I just do a flip. I could use these to do a flip. Okay, yeah, doing a flip. Doing a flip right now. Now, once I get to the... I feel like I'm not doing a flip anymore. I feel like I'm just about to crash and die. That's probably true. Oh. Oh. I, oh, that, that almost worked. That Wait, that almost worked for a second. I almost regained control there for a second. But what I've just learnt there is I need a second set of flaps that does the exact same thing underneath. Then, then I'll have control over the altitude. And also, are we about to... I feel like that is not how planes work at all. Okay. So... Now we're just going... Sometimes I doubt the physics in this game a little bit. Yes. Because if I want to pull up... Yeah, I can now pull up by tapping up. That is definitely true. What I need to do is find a way of pulling down, however. That's the thing. And I think I know how to do that. See, the same exact design, but below, would then do the same thing, presumably. Okay, so, a second set of flaps under the wing, aside from the automated one, which is the one at the rear. So, the plan for these is, what if I basically take... Okay, this is where it gets clever, by the way. What if I take the exact same signal I'm feeding the first one, but feed it into reverse? So that when I hit... Wait, do I want to do that, or is that... No, it needs to be not... I'm just going to basically plug it in not reversed, and we're just going to see what happens. Or rather, we'll, we'll just give it a check on the ground. Because if I've got this right, hang on, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I, I think I understand this. So, now, if I tap up... No, that, that's why I want to reverse it. I want one to go down while the other goes up. I need them to reverse as opposed to... Yeah, I see. I see the issue here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I, can, I can fix. This is a nice easy one to fix. This is return to workshop. Go into logic mode. Now, the this one needs to go into a reverser. I think that's a reverser there, isn't it? That's a, no, that's a tilt sensor. Where's the reverser? There's a reverser around here. Yeah, there's a reverser at the front. 
Uh, so just feed that through... Do I need a different reverser? I might need a second reverser, because I'm not quite sure whether this means that that... Okay, hang on. I'm going to put this... I'm just going to put this into that and feed this into... No, I definitely need a new reverser because they're not going to the same place. Right, now having inverted both of them, this also... Hang on. Yeah, this, this goes out to here. This also goes to here. So that will now reverse the input for the one at the bottom. Now, if I've got that right, if this all makes sense, then then this is actually genius. Because what this now does is... Over into pilot seat, engines, and... No, pilot seat, engine, engine, third person. So, up, down. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so now there's operational flaps on up and down on this plane. So, for takeoff, we want to go down. Okay, we want to kind of just give that a little bit of a downward tickle because that will provide additional uplift, presumably. So, let's just quickly hang on. This is cocky genius. All right, bit of a slow start, but cocky genius. So, now we just go down, down thrust, down thrust, down... I think possibly they also hit the ground, which is... Okay, maybe when we're taking off, I leave it to the automated system, but then we hit a cliff. Okay. Now, uh, automated system, would you mind just getting me up in the air? Automated system, no. Automated system! Okay, the automated system was working better before I probably confused it by shoving all sorts of flaps. Hang on, we can do better than this. See, almost certainly the best thing to do as a starting point is just, like, make sure we're not pointing at, like, the cliffs. So if we just kind of come out... I just clipped the thing with the wing. Another very important point about planes is to remember that they've got wings and that matters for reasons. Right, now we're okay. So just, yeah, just be here in a situation where we just basically let the speed take us off. Okay, let the speed take us off. And now I can pull up, pull... You see, probably going all the way to right angle doesn't help. That just causes problems. But... Now we can take off straight out of the water. Okay, so now I can just... Now I need to just use the... Use the the flaps to steady myself, which is... Okay, when you're going straight up, the flaps don't help hugely. Okay, I've taken the uh, lower ones off, because they seem to be not helping. Um, and I can partly use these to have some level of control. The problem is we can't... Um, we can't change our direction. Like, I feel like, thanks to these here flaps, I do indeed have some level of control in terms of verticality. At least, like, a little bit, anyway. If I just basically just do like this and then let it settle, I can get myself back up to... Horizony. Thanks to this. Yeah, just keep going, keep going, keep... Oh, I think I'm hitting invisible walls. I'm hitting invisible walls. But other than that... I can actually get myself. Yeah, look at that. I've got control. And now, I can actually fly in a straight line. But I need to be able to turn. That's the key. Now, that one's a bit of a mystery to me. Because I would have thought, based on my understanding of, like, planes and lift and whatever, that, like, planes turned by just, like, rotating. And then, like, the, the wing bits, like the lift, would force you right. Which I think is happening right now. But I have no control over it. Because how do you control the the role of a plane. But I do have, do have a plan for this. See, what I've done is I've added some extra wings onto the end of the wings. Now, these wings are also on hinges. The hinges are controlled by right and left of the directional pads, except one of them I've reversed. So, logically, if this works as I think it should, and we will actually just go and test that right now, if this works as I think it should, then what should happen is, while I'm in the pilot seat, uh, hang on, third person, so when I hit right, yes! Now, what I've... <laughs> yes! Yes, this is perfect. Um, what I've got now is a plane that can have wings at an angle. I'm not 100% sure whether that actually lets me turn. But in theory, in theory, based on my understanding of planes, it should. So all I need to do now is take off. 
plane is now oh now now a little bit unstable. Now if I just if I just that does nothing. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. Purely decorative. It's not turning at all. Okay, I've added some slopiness to them because the slopiness means it will have downward lift. No, sorry, upward lift, which I think is the sort of lift I want. Okay, so with the new system ready to go, with flaps ready, you wish. <laughs> Look how it dances. I can just make the plane dance. It's beautiful. With the new system ready to go. All right, I'm just gonna whack it up to full power, and we're just gonna see what happens. So, activate full power, go into third person, and now, if I'm right, this should... Oh, yes, now. Can I turn? Does this do anything? Am I turning in any way right now? Okay, so is, that, is that having an effect? Is that having an effect? If I, okay, I definitely don't want them at like 100%. That's, okay, I'm going right towards the signs at the minute. Now, if I want to go... No, that's up. Is this having an effect on the direction I'm going in? Okay, just look at the compass down at the bottom. I think I'm ever so slightly turning to the right. Now... Oh my goodness, it's working! No, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, I'm still turning to the right. No, it does... Okay, now I'm turning... I think I'm turning more to the right when I'm doing this. The problem is I have no way of actually... Yeah, I... I... Wait, I think if I... I think if I wiggle the wings, I turn to the right... Definitely while this wing's going down, I turn to the right faster. I am drifting to the right, and I can either accelerate that drift by being in this position, like this, or I can slow it down by being in this position. No, there's... Okay, possibly I'm just slowing myself. Is that is that why I'm turning faster? Because I'm going... I'm going slow. Well, I'm flying. I'm flying a plane. And it's got flaps. Okay, I'm going to use the flaps now. I'm going to use the flaps to try and turn myself around by doing a flip. Okay, so just turn yourself around. And then, if I can just get level to horizon, I'll consider this a victory. And when I say that, I've... Okay, now just back up. Okay, now stop. Now back up again. Actually, no, lose a bit of altitude. We are losing altitude right now. We are losing altitude. So this is fine. So now just... Okay, now... Now go... Ooh! If I if I hold down, that has a slight impact, I think. Because that is definitely having an effect on... Yeah, that's up. That's down. Now I just need to... Okay, that's... <laughs> this is the best plane. Um... No, it, it, it doesn't do a thing. And I'm not actually sure how you turn. I mean, I could put rudders on this thing. Wait, is that... Is that all these things? If I was to... Ooh! I've just had an idea. Okay, now prepare yourself for this, because this is just cocking genius. I've added some extra propellers. This is going to work. This is 100% going to work. They've got their own engines each, and I've wired one of them into left and right, and one of them into inverted left and right. So I think when I push right, one of them will push, and the other will start, like, sucking, and then vice versa. Now, that should push the front of the plane in one direction or another, assuming I've got this all wired up correctly, which I think I have. I've had to put in yeah, some extra engines. So now, one, two, three. There we go. <laughs> This probably isn't how planes turn, but I couldn't figure that bit out. So, what I think I need to do now is, yes, and then, oh my goodness, yes. Look at that. Okay, I'm hitting right and left right now, and this plane is being turned purely by the propellers. All right, that's that's what's going on here, except I've, I've got them backwards. I've got them backwards, so that's, so that's like, okay, I'm just going to quickly rewire them so they're the right way around. But other than that, this is perfect. Look at this beauty, by the way. This logical beauty at this exact moment in time. This is what I have built. It is glorious. Okay, so everything activates. And I just use the engine that controls the wheels below to get myself over towards the runway. We take off on the runway. And then I prove once and for all that this... <laughs> this the stupidest design yet. Yeah. But it actually might work. It's actually got a... Uh, Okay, I was about to say an okay chance of working, I'm not sure. Like, it will definitely turn the plane. The plane is 100% going to turn from this. 
No chance is it not. Right now they're just balancing each other out. Okay. So now. Now, 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 now. We've got... Wait, what does this one do? This one... Does that even do anything anymore? I'm not sure that does anything anymore. Because I think I remapped that. I think this one's now pointless. Right, okay. Whack up the power. Okay. And then I should automatically take off with my automated... Okay, possibly the new propellers are somehow throwing me off for some... Oh, wow, I'm really... Why am I turning... Oh! I I think I know why I'm turning. It's because one of the propellers is... Wait, are they running in reverse or are they running in... No, they've got to be running correctly. They should be counteracting each other at this exact moment in time. Okay, well, I've got a solution to this. I simply don't activate those propellers until we're already airborne. We only activate those propellers when we actually need to, like, you know, turn and whatever. Let's just get myself up a little bit more speed with the benefit of the actual propellers there. Okay, this is the one. I know I've said that before several times, but this is actually the one. Alright, side propellers off. Main propellers up to maximum power, please. Now, just take off and then stabilise. Stabil- Okay, stabilised. Okay, now. Using up and down, I can slightly have some level of control over up and down here. Now. Now, no, no, no. This is where it gets interesting. So, now, activate third engine. Okay, now. Now, using right and left, I should be able to- Oh my goodness, it works! It works! It w okay, I'm immediately losing control. I'm immediately losing control here. Okay, no, no use use um, use those to stabilise. Use it now. Turn to. The problem is this rotates the aircraft, but it doesn't actually. Oh, pull up! I almost pulled up there. Okay, now I'm actually in a good position. Okay, now stabilise. No, no. Yes, yes. Now turn, turn. Oh my goodness! I am flying this plane. You can't deny I'm flying this plane at this point. It's it's a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of. It, it's it. It's not a huge amount of control, and I don't have to. Oh, cock! This is where it goes wrong, and it's fine because luckily things can't break off in this. And it still may need a little bit of work potentially. Possibly we should actually just just lower the power. Maybe we just maybe we just lower the power and we turn off this engine and and we just we just accept that there we are. It's fine. It's fine. We now just go swimming with the trout and everything's okay. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think I'm going to actually leave things off there because I have successfully flown to this island. Whatever this island is, I have successfully flown to it and no one can take that away from me because that's what I did. I just took off in my plane. I had control over, like, you know, various things. I, I vaguely could go up and down. I could vaguely go side to side. I had control over all of those things. That's like two different things that I was vaguely in control of. I built a plane. It flew. I had some control over it. And we have managed to fly that plane to this mysterious island. What is this island? Do, do we know what this place is? Hello! I've come to visit you in my plane. This is... I'm also taking your desk chair with me. Bye. Ah, oh, clever bastards. The desk chair's bigger than the door. Well, I'm having something of yours. I'm having this folder. I don't know what's in it, but it's coming with me. How far have I come, by the way? Where's my starting island? So I'm, I'm over here right now, and there's my plane in the sea. I think that's that's my starting island. Is that it down there? Yeah, that's it, because that's the actual runway. So basically, I took my plane out of here, took off on the runway, flew over here successfully flew, made it to this island in broadly a straight line. Quite frankly, also, I think my plane's still moving. I think that ticking down there is... Oh, no, that's that's the mouse cursor. That's fine. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We are done with Stormworks, I would say. <laughs> now I've actually successfully built a fully functioning aeroplane. I am satisfied. <laughs> I like this game. It's kind of broken, and yet it's kind of wonderful. I really have had a lovely time with this. So, we will leave things off here. For now, who knows, maybe it'll come back and I shall build something even better, but more likely even worse. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Stormworks Build and Rescue. Thank you very much and goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded.
I may have picked the wrong fight over. Yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high tech. They're mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.